Rainbow Six Vegas 2 guide. Nextgenwalkthroughs.com. Your trusty guide, Beer Baron, here. Taking you through realistic difficulty. Check your fire. So, strap on some stealth mode. Put you guys on infiltrate. Get that silencer on. Sound suppressors off. Wow. Huh. Maybe I didn't mean to have the silencer on. Oh, now I remember what level this is. Okay. Forget the stealth mode thing. That was just uh, me being an idiot and not realizing what video I was doing a voiceover for. So there's a sniper at the top of those stairs over there. And he is the first guy you have to kill. So tag him just so you know exactly where his head's going to be when you open the door. Open the door and just blast him right away. Then give your teammates the open and clear order. Ooh, I got that turret guy quickly too. I'm doing well. That motherfucker with the shotgun almost killed me. There's a guy behind that little forklift right there. He likes to camp there. He's not very friendly. Luckily, I'm better than him. Back on me. I did manage to fuck up in the next section, though. I had to edit out a death. Unfortunately. Go, go. Now, I forgot to tell my teammates to stack up. Not stack up, to search the van. Check the van. Which is the first thing you have to do. And what is kind of uh, counterintuitive is there's some stairs to my right that you can see right now that you would think would give you a uh, good bird's eye view on the next room, but in reality, uh, you can't use the door that's up there to kill everybody from above. So, have your team stack up on the door, ignore the fact that I died. And after they after uh, they get on the door, give them the open and clear order. And if you go outside and kind of look through this hole in the wall, where that uh, turret was before, or where the tur turret gunner was before, you can get a couple kills from a fairly safe area, and let your teammates do all the grunt work. Warehouses like this always scare the crap out of me because there's always somebody hiding behind a corner just waiting to fuck me up because I didn't check every corner closely enough. Like this motherfucker. Ooh, my teammates got him though. So what you want to do, give your teammates the go order on that little box right there. And that will trigger the next wave of guys. It's a couple shield guys. So just toss a grenade right in that door over there. And you'll get a couple kills. I didn't do a very good job tossing the grenades there though. I think it might be because while I was recording this guide, I was switching between playing Call of Duty online and uh, recording the single player. And the grenade physics are so different in each game if I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. I can easily get thrown off and like press the wrong button to run and uh, it can be frustrating sometimes when you're switching between one first person shooter with extremely intuitive controls like Call of Duty and another first person shooter like this that has uh, a little bit crazy controls. I mean, I if I was mapping out the button layout for this game, I certainly would not have put run on the left bumper. That just, that does not make sense. Now shoot the red barrels, which means explode. Any video game veteran will tell you that a red barrel means explode. And again, what you want to do is uh, have your teammates move ahead of you to trigger the next wave of bad guys, which will come. 
while you stay back uh, and snipe everybody that you can see. Snipe them with your assault rifle. <laughs> One thing I really liked about this game compared to Call of Duty, uh, I think the only thing about this game that I liked more than Call of Duty was that uh, the snipers just feel a lot better. They have much better like feedback, I guess you can say, when you fire them, and <laughs> much better hit detection as well. Stack up. It kind of sucks for every for realistic, you know first-person shooter that comes out after Call of Duty because it will inevitably be compared to Call of Duty in terms of gameplay and pretty much everything else it has to offer. Uh, that's the gaming world we live in. If that's the high standard, I think we're in pretty good shape. There's two entrances to this next room, so the standard drill. Have your teammates stack up on one door while you flank everybody in the room from the other side. No, no. Oh, not the one with the big shaft of light coming down the church and No, not that one either. Is it the one with the virgin? No, no. Shit. Open. What? Now, I don't know if I'm just remembering things or having uh, weird flashbacks or something like that, but I remember this layout of map to be in uh, the first Rainbow Six Vegas game. And I just remember starting downstairs and then having to work your way up. But I I could be completely wrong on that, but it the layout of the room just seems extremely familiar. Where there's like a... A couple different paths above you, and the stairs right in the middle. It just—it seems extremely familiar. So please let me know if I'm just imagining things. Where's Dennis? Now I did an awful job right there. I really should have checked through the windows to make sure that that everybody was dead, and I got lucky to live through that. But it's the end of the level, or end of this video at least. There's a lot more to this level. Alvarez is here too. He mentioned a name. Irene. You may want to run out. Irina Morales? She's a major player. Logan's team is pursuing her in Mexico. Update 6. Cohen's in trouble. We're headed to the main stage. 